In today's video, I want to show you how I combined Code Interpreter with Midjourney to create the prospect you can see here. This is a prospect of a cabin I maybe want to build someday. This was very easy to do actually, so I kind of wanted to show you step by step how I did this. So let's just get going. The first thing we had to do was create a small data set of this so we can feed to the Code Interpreter. We're just going to do it in a text file, so it's very simple. I went to houseplants.com, I found kind of a cabin or a house thing here I kind of liked. So what I did, I just went all the way down here, full specs and features, and I just copy all of this. Then I went to ChatGPT, because this is simulated, right? I just went, here are my building plans for my cabin by the lake. Or it's supposed to be by the fjord, but that's fine. So just pasted in all of these full specs here. And based on the provider here, so an overview of your cabin by the lake, so I just got this in a more structured form. Then I went ahead and can you provide a material cost list? Just use average prices. Okay, so we got that. We got framing materials, roofing materials, and we get like a... It's probably just an average price, but this is just for show. You can, of course, look up your own prices if you wanted to do that. And then I wanted to create a design and interior, create a design and interior design plan for the cabin. It's by the fjord in Norway. So it went and go and created some exterior design. So we opt for a traditional Scandinavian design. And we're going to do exterior materials, interior, flooring, living room, bedrooms, kitchen, right? We have an outdoor space, deck or terrace, barbecue area, fire pit. Okay, so that's good. Then I wanted to create a step-by-step -step building plan. And yeah. We got that. Uh, basically, this is just to create a data set to show you how you can do this. Like if you had a, a real plan, right? This is just to showcase. So what I did was I went ahead, copied all of this, created just an empty text file, pasted all of these plans, designs and cost and stuff into here. But we had one more thing we had to do. If we're going to get some visuals, we need some examples of mid-journey prompts we can use. So I went over to my website here. You can find this in the link in the description below. Here is just a prompt that has a lot of examples of what Midjourney 5.2 is and some basic information about Midjourney. So I just went ahead, copied all of this here, pasted also that into this text file here, and then we were basically ready to go. So let's head over to Code Interpreter. Okay, so over here we just started with a simple system prompt, so ignore all previous instructions. You are an architect and an interior designer. Your task is to help the user create a prospect for a cabin that includes all information and images in a nice PDF. Let's start by analyzing the text file. So just uploaded our data set we just created. Okay. The text file contains detailed information about the design, cost estimation, and yeah, design and stuff. Here are summary of the key points. So we have basic features, dimensions, material cost, we have building plan, mid-journey prompts for visual representation. Okay, that's good. So we can just move on. Then I wanted to... I want you to start with planning out each room. For each room and the exterior, create mid-journey prompts that describe how the rooms and exterior looks visually. And here you can see we have a perfect mid-journey prompt. So we have the exterior, scenic view of a traditional Scandinavian cabin, located by Fjord in Norway. We got the living area, we got the kitchen, dining area, master bedroom, bathroom. Perfect. So this is very simple to use. We can just copy that, head over to mid-journey and take a look at it. So let's copy the kitchen prompt here and run it over on mid-journey. So over here on mid-journey, slash, imagine, just paste in the prompt, hit enter. And there we have it. You can see we have four different beautiful kitchens we can pick from here. You can see we have, I really like this one, but this is like the perfect Scandinavian modern style kind of cabin. All windows all the way down to the floor. We got the woods in the background. Perfect. So you can just slide this straight into your prospect, right? I just also wanted to show you this. So this is like the exterior image that we got from Midjourney. But look at this. Look how similar it looks to the houseplan.com plan we put in as the prompt, right? So you can see this is almost exactly like it. So I was really happy about that. That kind of shows off that it kind of understand what the building looks like. So I thought that was just very cool. So you can really see the similarities here. We have the deck in front. We have the deck in front here. We have this special roof, right? So I was very impressed by that, actually. Uh, but now we have our images. Let's head back to the code interpreter. Then I just go now create a very detailed prospect for the cabin. Include all details, not prompts, images with a description, estimated cost, and an intriguing story about the plot for the cabin and the land that I can just paste into my PDF. Certainly, here is the complete text for your PDF. 
So we have some cover page, cabin by the fjord, your dream cabin in Norway. Uh, so we have something about the cabin. This is just basically some text information. We have the kitchen uh, description, living area description, dining area, all of that, right? We have the story of the land. Envision your life by the fjord where the serene waters meet the lush green landscape. This plot of land in Norway, yeah, you get it. Uh, we have the step-by-step -step building plan. This is going to be added later, I'm going to show you. Uh, because I wanted to, you need to include the estimated cost and the step-by-step -step building plan. Okay, so we just went ahead there. Then we get this full step-by-step -step building plan. And yeah, that was basically all we needed for this prospect, right? Yeah, I just copy all of that, pasted this into just a docs file here, exported it as a PDF, and we ended up with this. So basically, this was my prospect, right? So we have everything here. We have a title, we have our beautiful images, description, living area. So I just thought this was quite cool, right? Uh, very easy to make. How long did I spend on this? Mm, 10, 15 minutes. How long would this take me if I didn't have this? A long time, because I had to come up with every single prompt for the images. I would probably spend a lot of time on that. I could have used ChatGPT4, of course, but I thought this was just a smart way of doing it. And I was really happy how the exterior ended up. It actually fit the building plan we found on houseplan.com, right? So I was very impressed by this. Thought it was just a neat use case I just wanted to share. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Maybe this is useful. I think we can tweak this to whatever you want. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was it. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.